This is the Wilshire Boulevard Temple, built by Hollywood moguls 83 years ago. This is the first time it's being renovated. This historic synagogue is the oldest in Los Angeles, and it's where many Hollywood heavyweights come to worship. But to keep it looking pristine over the years, it's taken some movie magic. From the start, the synagogue incorporated tricks of the trade. Rabbi Stephen Leder says he was surprised to learn these marble pillars weren't really marble. You'd think they were enormous stone columns. They're actually plaster painted in a very special technique, I think called scagliola. When architect Brenda Levin looked closely at the ceiling, she found another movie set trick. There were liberties taken in terms of the degree of specificity and um, pristineness of the cast plaster. So you'll see rosettes that are sort of knocked off or missing elements to them. But from the ground, you really don't notice. Sure, they cut some corners, but at times the original artists went above and beyond, painting details that would never be seen from the ground. I'm talking about a floral design on a robe that from 50 feet below, that was pure artistic elegance and genius and for the artist himself. The synagogue was built in 18 months. That's not a lot of time when you consider that it will take longer than that to renovate. Rabbi Leader says they don't plan to change any of the original designs, even those that are more fit for Hollywood than for a synagogue. If the pews were in here, you would see there's no center aisle. Why? Well, this was built by guys who built movie theaters. There's no center aisle in a movie theater either because that's where the best seats are. Rabbi Leader says that still rings true today, and people that worship here are proud of its Hollywood roots. The Warner Brothers commissioned the murals. Uh, Louis B. Mayer, Irving Thalberg, Carl Lemley, all, uh, all were involved in the creation of this great sanctuary. They were big thinkers. They did big things. It's no different today. Members of this congregation are footing the bill for the renovation. $90 million has been raised so far. The entire project is expected to cost $150 million and will include building new schools and community gathering places that will take up the entire block. Renovations will be complete by September 2013, just in time for the High Holy Days. Until then, services are being held at an auditorium on site and at another campus in West Los Angeles. Lindsay Mastis for JN1, Los Angeles.